each fire alarm system is particularly unique to the actual manufacturer. Now, there are different fire alarm systems out there, and they all actually have to function the same, but they all kind of look different. I look at it as dealing with different women with multiple personalities. So now we have two different fire alarm systems here. We have the Kitty, which is similar to the Edwards, and how these systems actually address the actual devices is the CPU will assign the address to the serial number. So what you will have to do as the programmer, locate the serial number with the address so that way you could attach the message and the label for your programming inside of the Edwards, the Kitty, or the IO system. Then next we have the Firelight systems, which is similar to like the Honeywell, the Notifier, the Silent Night, anyone that has like a dial meter what you want to do is turn the dial to that particular address. There's a one section and there's a 10 section. So if you're looking for address 25, you will put the two on a 10 section to give you 20 and the fives on the five section to give you an address of 25. So you would physically have to add the address to a Honeywell system, a notifier system, a silent night system, any system like that. However, the Edwards system, the CPU assigns the address to the actual device. And the one device that I don't have is a simplex system and theirs is used with binary. If you don't know anything about binary, it's just on and off switches anywhere from one to 128. So depending on what the address is, you just flip the switches on to that particular address. So if you want to learn more about Fire Alarm, I don't know why you're not in my training center. Peace.